Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. So today we've got the mid-season roadmap update. So what this is, is letting us know there is no mid-season balancing and we've got a bunch of delays as well. So they've actually updated the roadmap. And this is the new roadmap here. Now, if you don't already know, season three is gonna be getting shown off in about a month's time and it was supposed to have ranked 2.0 but that has been pushed into season 4 along with pretty much everything from the reputation system as well. And then they've desperately tried to figure out some content to put into season 3 so we've got some new stuff to talk about there in a second but what has happened is last season they delayed season 3's map into season 4. Obviously, they've now delayed rank 2.0 in the season four, which means that season three would have just been operator, battle pass, and some balance and changes, and that would be it. What they're gonna bring in is an additional map, but this is not a new map, but it is coming into competitive, so it'll be going into ranked, basically. And that is a map that we've already seen. They say it's from a previous event. I imagine it's gonna be one of the stadium maps because those are the most competitive, and I can see them just slotting perfectly into ranked. So I think we'll have one of those stadium maps. But this is obviously a desperation move here where they're pulling out some old content to throw onto the roadmap. They're also canceling mid-season balancing and bringing that all with the season three launch so that it looks bigger when it actually comes out. And I assume this is twofold. So first of all, they've probably got a lot less resources than previous years because their player base has dropped so Ubisoft will be giving them less to play with. And then the other thing is the hole that all AAA developers are falling into right now, which is delay, delay, delay. And we've seen it with big games just constantly getting delays and features getting delays. And I look at season four and I think, how much of that are we actually going to get? Like I imagine the map will be done by that time, but I'm, I'm thinking cross progression is going to get delayed. Like I don't think that's going to make it. And rank 2.0, I give that a 50-50 chance of actually happening. Then they've also got the permanent arcades. Right now, we still only have Golden Gun. So I'm thinking, is there really going to be permanent arcades by Season 4? And then the reputation system, is that really going to make it by Season 4 as well? So this definitely makes me worried about the consistency of content that we'll see over the next couple of seasons and then into next year as well. Because... I would love all the stuff on this roadmap to come out this year and it would make a much better game. Like I'm really looking forward to Rank 2.0 and I can see myself playing a lot more because of Rank 2.0. But will it arrive this year? Will it have massive issues? And the same thing goes for something like the reputation system. Is that going to work correctly or is it going to end up banning every player in the game or something? So yeah, very, very worried about overall content right now. But let's move down and talk about major balance and changes so this is coming with the launch of season three and they say this is why there's no mid-season balance in this time around. So first of all, they're looking at the LMG meta and like thinkers role and stuff like that in it and they're going to be doing something significant. We've heard rumors that there's going to be major changes to the recoil so we'll just have to wait and see what actually happens. And the reveal for that is coming in about four weeks time so it's actually not that far away until we find out what is going on. The other thing is they've said that they're foregoing a mid-season balancing patch, but that's because there's a lot of stuff apparently that's interlinked that they can't really bring out separately. One of those things that they're going to be bringing in an EMP grenade as a secondary on some attacker loadouts. We got a teaser of this at the earlier in the year and it was like basically two seconds, but it is a impact based EMP that you throw at the wall. It impacts, does an EMP and it seems to work as good as Thatcher's EMP. And of course you might get one or two of them at most. It's also very possible that it's changed significantly since then. So for instance, it may not be an impact based EMP anymore or things like that. And yeah, that is it. That's all they let us know about what's happening with season three. So major changes to LMGs and an EMP grenade for certain attacker loadouts. And that's it guys, that's the entire update for today. So first of all, I am going to be back making dedicated videos on some of these subjects because I think we have to dig deeper. The other thing is we will have the mid-season event coming pretty soon. The point two patch probably will drop this week or next, followed quickly by the mid-season event, which I think is rumored to probably be Mute Protocol 2 at this point. 
and we're going to be seeing of course the teaser for the next season in maybe three weeks or so and i'm looking forward to that and hopefully it'll be an okay season it's all going to come down i think this time to the operator and if the operator doesn't shine this is going to be a very boring season although if stadium does end up in ranked i'm going to be happy to play that although i definitely think it's a cheap uh, additional content i'm quite happy if that makes it into ranked because it is in my you know respects a great map so looking forward to seeing one of those stadium versions in there and maybe even we'll get another one someday i don't know but anyway guys let me know what you think of this in the comments below and i'll catch you next time